Hello and welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. Today what we're going to be looking at is I'm going to be taking you through my work process and my workflow, shall we say, of how I take a computer file and our image file on our computer all the way through to the final print. Now before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe, just click that subscribe button in the bottom right there and also stick around to the end of the video because I will have a 15% voucher that you can use on photospeed.com. Okay, without further ado, let's jump in and look at how I go about printing an image. Now I've picked a photo from some work I'm kind of putting together at the minute, not quite sure where it's gonna be or what it's gonna do. However, I thought I'd just do a really nice print of the work to help me kind of understand where the work's going. So I'm gonna be printing this at A2. Now I'm not 100% kind of decided on which paper I'm gonna be printing on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print this on four different types of papers. Now I'm gonna use the Platinum Brighter, the Platinum Etching, the cotton etching and the natural soft textured bright white or the NST bright white that it could be called. Now these papers I kind of like the feel of. I've chosen the brighter because we've got a lot of black in this image so I really want to kind of emphasize that black and the brighter content of the platinum brighter will do this for me. The NST bright white as well has a lovely high white point which will hold that black point as well and make the colors really pop in there. Now the cotton etching is in there because I want to see how it looks on a textured type of paper and also the platinum etching is a kind of a very subtle type of texture and it's got a warmer base as well so I'm really interested to find out how it prints and how it looks on those different types of papers. Okay so let's print these off. Now I'm going to print these off on A4. Now I'm just doing that because of video and it looks a bit better on video. However, please do this on smaller pieces of paper to get the best out, value out of your paper stock and things. Let's jump into the computer and let's print these off and then we can have a look and see which papers look best. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom. What I'm gonna do first though is I've just brought the picture up, I've edited it or just my liking in here. The first thing I'm going to do though, like I said, is I'm going to print this on four papers, the Platinum Brighter, Platinum Etching, Platinum Cotton, and the NST Bright White, just to see kind of which paper I'd like to choose. So very simply, what I'm going to do is just go into the print module, and I'm going to go into page setup, and I'm going to print these on A4, and I'm just going to select A4 borderless, and okay. Just so I get my picture on there, and I'm just going to make I've uh, got a bit of a big border on here, so I'm just going to change it to centimetres and just put in one centimetre all the way around my prints and make sure they fill the page quite nicely like that. Just do that one. Just so they fill the page really nicely and then very simply I'm just going to go down to the bottom and I'm just going to select Platinum Brighter for my first print and I'm just going to click print and just print these off and then I'll select the profile for the platinum etching, print it off, the platinum cotton, print it off, and then also the NST bright white, and then print those off. And then we'll have a look and see how those have printed off, and also see which paper we're gonna be picking, and that will narrow down our choice of paper. Okay, so let's get those printing. Okay, so I've printed these off now. I've got all four here, I've got the platinum brighter, I've got the NST Bright White, the cotton etching, and the platinum etching as well, all on these papers and all printed lovely for us here. So my first one I'm gonna look at though is the Platinum Brighter. Now this looks great. It looks like it pretty much matches the screen to be honest. It's just got this lovely look to it. So it's what I expected. Now the other three are there kind of just for me to satisfy a little bit of curiosity, should we say. My first choice would probably be the Brighter, however, I wanted to see how it looked on the others. So I'm just going to put Brighter down um, in my maybe pile, shall we say. Okay, let's have a look at Cotton Etching, that's the next one. Now instantly I can see that there is texture in the paper and it's coming through to the point where it's almost distracting. 
Now, this can happen on textured papers, so it is really worth kind of thinking about textured papers. And I always think if the texture becomes too distracting from the image instead of complementing the image, then don't use textured paper for that reason. So I'm going to put that one into my um, kind of no pile. Now the other one I've got here is the cotton etching. And again, it's, it's a little bit more of a subtle texture. However, there is a little bit more of a distraction in here. So with, with the texture, it's almost little lines and things in there. So it is distracting again. So that same reason really, I don't want any the texture to become distracting. I want it to enhance the image, which it's kind of not doing in here. Now the NST Bright White is lovely and smooth, looks fantastic. We haven't got any of that texture going on in there. And I'm really happy with it. Now, but, I have to say, I'm more happy with the brighter. There is this deeper black in here, which is setting the rest of the picture off. And it's almost, it kind of gives this nice sheen to it. So it could be, it could be said a little bit more cinematic or something in there. So for me personally, I think the platinum brighter is the winner here. So that is the paper I'm going to be using. Now, there's a couple of things I want to do before I make my big print on A2. I want to do another test print, but I want to do a test print of four different versions of the picture. And I'm just going to increase the shadow details on each of these, just to see if I'm not missing anything within the detail of this picture here. It's like in the shadows here or anything. I'm just kind of not missing anything and not leaving anything out. So let's dive back into the computer and we'll do that. And then I'll print it off and we'll have another look. Okay, so we've made our paper choice. We're sticking to the Platinum Brighter. That seemed to give us the best blacks and the best definition and really make the print stand out. But I want to just run a couple of tests just to see if I'm missing any like shadow detail down here or anything else is coming on because it, it did go a little bit darker than the one on my screen. So I just want to make sure I'm getting the best out of the print. So. I'm going to make four virtual copies. So I'm just going to right click on the picture here and make four virtual copies. So virtual copy one, one, two, three, and four. Now very simply what I'm going to do is just go over to the shadows and I'm just going to put in a plus 10, uh, a plus 20 on my shadows. And then on my third one, a plus 30 and a plus 40. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print all these together. So first of all, I'm just going to hold down shift, click on the last one and that first one there. So I've got my four selected, go into the print dialog. Now still on a four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the paper size to a three. You can still keep this on a four if you want to be a little bit more economical. Now, the page grid options here underneath your margins, I'm just going to increase to two rows and two columns. So now I have all four pictures together. And the cell spacing, I'm just going to change my measurements to millimeters and just put in one millimeter in between. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom, make sure I've got platinum brighter, and put an A3 sheet in the printer, and then we're just going to click print. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look and see if that has improved things for us. Okay, so here is the four pictures I just did. So we've got plus 10 shadow at the top, plus 20, plus 30, plus 40. And then I've got my other test print here, my original kind of with no adjustments on there. Now I have to say, looking at it, um, there is a little bit shadow detail, but not much. I'm not going to gain anything by putting up a massive amount of shadow detail. So for me, in this picture, I'm actually going to stick with no shadow detail enhancement on here. I'm just going to keep it to that original copy that we made and print it as that. There is one thing I'm going to do, though, and that is within the detail of in the center of the picture, what I want to do is I want to just enhance this area a little bit to add a little bit more depth in here. 
And I'm going to do that by just putting a radial filter in and just increasing clarity and contrast and things. So let me dive into the computer and let's just do that. Okay, so we kind of learned that actually there's not a lot of shadow detail there looking at those four extra prints I did. So I'm going to stick with my first print because actually that came out great and it looked really good. So I looked at it away from the screen to start with and it looked great. The one area I was a little bit concerned about was the center of the picture and it's just losing a little bit of detail in this area. So very simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a radial gradient in here and I'm just going to just drag a gradient in just to this area here and then I'm going to just have a play with the contrast just bring the contrast up a little bit and also a little bit of clarity in there perhaps and a little bit of the dehaze just a bit too much other than dehaze I won't touch the dehaze so we're just going to add a little bit in here just so it's got a little bit more definition. That's all I'm going to do. And then what I'm going to do is we'll, we will just do a quick test print of this. So when I go back into my print module, you'll see I'm still set up for the grid. So I'm just going to pop this down to one row and one column with a little border. And then I'm just going to do an A4 print of this just to make sure just to be on the safe side because I don't want to waste a whole sheet of A2 paper when I'm going to be printing this. So let me just print that on an A4 and then we'll make the final print on A2. Okay so now we've added that filter in and that mask in there's a bit more detail in here and it just love, it gives a lovely depth to the picture and the brighter really helps with that depth as well just really kind of draws you in. So I think with all these tests, I think we're ready to do the final print and the big print. Okay, so I'm happy with the A4. So let's go and do the final print on the A2. Now, all very simply, all we need to do is just select A2. I'm gonna click on borderless. Now, the reason I click on borderless is to basically avoid any printable margins in there. So what I wanna do is just bring this right up to the top so I've still got a one centimeter border around. So I'm just gonna switch this to inches and put a two inch border all the way around. So that looks nice and neat. So I've got a big chunky border there, which is great, which is what I want. Make sure I've got my profile selected and then I'm just gonna print. Okay. Now, I always get a big satisfaction about a big print coming off like this and looking fantastic like it does. Now, nice chunky border, like the two inch border around the outside really sets the picture off. And also that little adjustment I made in here really emphasized things for me. And I'm really happy with this. I'm happy to just put this in the box now, ready to be framed or whatever I'm gonna do with it. But it's a really nice work print, to be honest. I know it's A2. I say it's a work print and it's an A2, but it's just a really nice print and it will give me a really good idea about where these other pictures are gonna go and the other set that go with this as well. So I'm gonna print the rest of them as well on the brighter and then have a think about kind of what it all means, I suppose. Okay, well, I hope that's been useful. I hope that I've kind of gone through how I kind of go about printing. There is a stage I didn't kind of touch on in there, which is soft proofing as well. It generally, it's not something I do. I like to do the little prints and have a look and see what's going on. But soft proofing can give you a really good idea of how something's going to print and how um, and give you gamut warnings to things that are going to be adjusted by kind of rendering intent, things like that. So if you do like using soft proofing, please just please use it and add that step in if you'd like it. And if you want to know what soft proofing is, have a look at my video as well on soft proofing and I'll take you through how I go about kind of soft proofing in an image and having a look at it. But like I said, I hope that's been useful. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
And also at the start of the video, I promised a 15% voucher. So if you go online to photospeed.com, you can use FS YouTube 15 to get 15% off photospeed.com. And don't forget, we release a new video every Thursday on the Photospeed YouTube channel. So stay up to date, click that bell icon as well to get notifications of when our videos come out. So until next Thursday, have a great week and bye-bye.